Where to get good dating advice. Hi guys, my name is Christine Loveridge and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about where to get good dating advice. So first of all, let's talk about your friends. Now it's okay to get dating advice from your friends, but there has to be this exception. Do they have the kind of dating life that you want? Are they in a happy relationship? Or, you know, perhaps you're just someone who likes to play the field, who likes to go on a lot of dates, you don't really want to settle down. Now, obviously, if you want to have that kind of lifestyle, then of course you need to ask those friends that are already living those kinds of lifestyles. So if you know a friend who's really good with the opposite sex or the same sex, depending on who they are, you know, ask them, how do they go on dates so successfully? What do they do? What's their techniques? Ask them how long they take to respond to messages. Ask them where, what do they do on their dates? Ask them ways on how they've built their confidence. So basically you're trying to find the friends that are, having, that are getting the results that you want ask them about it, get their advice, and then apply it in your own life. However, don't ask those friends that have been, let's say, single for years. Obviously don't ask them because they won't know. Like if they haven't been on a date or they've never been in a relationship, or let's say they only go on a date with someone once a year, then obviously that's not someone that you want to get advice from because obviously they probably need some advice as well. So basically you just want to be asking those friends who are good with dating, good with relationships. If you really want a committed long-term relationship or you're already in a relationship and let's say the relationship isn't going well or there's, you're coming up with a lot of problems um, and you're having a few issues, then of course ask your friends who are in happy relationships, who are in love, you know, ask them for advice. Don't ask the friends that are single you know, don't ask the friends that are in really horrible relationships. So let's say you see that they're, they're always arguing with their partner or their partner always has something bad to say about them or they have always something bad to say about their partner. You know, you see it a lot, you know, um, people complaining about their partners like, oh, I've got to go back home to the wife. You know, it's the, that kind of attitude. Obviously, something is going wrong there. So you shouldn't ask that kind of person for advice. Ask the people who are in love, that are happy with each other. So the next group of people that you could ask advice from um, that may sound like the right thing to do is the opposite sex. So let's say you're a guy and um, you think, okay, well, I'm not having success with women. I know I'll ask my friends who are girls. So one of the things that you need to understand is when you are talking to someone feminine, so let's say a, a woman, um, a feminine woman, um, or it could be a feminine guy. So the problem with asking feminine people for dating advice is that they tend to not be very straight with you. So they will probably say things to avoid hurting your feelings because that's what a, because that's one of the things that feminine energy people are about. You know, they want everyone to get along, they want everyone to be happy, um, and basi and they want everyone to be treated kind of equal. So if you come to them for dating advice, like, oh, I'm really struggling with this girl, do you think you can look at these messages? What do you think I should do? Their answers will probably be something like, oh, oh, perhaps they just don't want to be in a relationship right now. Or perhaps they'll say something like, oh, they probably really do like you, but maybe they just don't want to. Perhaps they just have a lot of stuff going on in their life right now. You know, those kinds of things. They, they're they not actually saying to you, look, mate, <laughs> she ain't interested. They're not going to do that because they don't want to hurt your feelings. So sometimes going to the opposite sex or going to someone who's very feminine about dating advice can backfire because they don't want to do things that are going to hurt your feelings. They're going to try and make you feel better about it um, instead of telling you straight and saying, look, they just ain't interested or, oh, you sent too many messages there. Perhaps you shouldn't have done that. They're not going to do that. I'm not saying that every feminine person gives advice out like that, but it's more likely, especially if it's dating advice. Um, perhaps if you go to someone feminine about relationship advice, that might be a better idea, but not dating advice. Especially if you are talking to someone who isn't really displaying that much interest, 
Um, what they're going to be doing is they're going to be trying to make you feel better about yourself instead of telling you how it is. But it might help to ask them about relationships. Like, oh, what does your husband or boyfriend do that makes you love them? That what do they do? What How do they treat you? Do they take you out? How often do they take you out? Um, what are some things that they do for you? You know, how do you two communicate with each other? You know, asking those kinds of questions might be a bit more effective. But again, you need to be careful of who you ask. So there's no point asking a girl about relationship advice when she's not even in a relationship or she's not in a happy relationship. Again, you need to be going to people who are having the experiences and are doing the things that you want. Think of it this way, you wouldn't go to someone who is living on the street about advice about money. You know, you'd go to someone who is, you know, wealthy about money. That's who you would go to for money advice. You'll go to someone who knows a lot about the stock market or they're really good at saving and they live a wealthy lifestyle. You know, those are the people you go to about money who are doing well. And it's the same with relationships. You go to the people who are doing well, either in dating or in relationships, so they're in a long-term, committed, happy relationship. So one thing that you could do is you could seek out happy couples, especially if you want a relationship, a long-term relationship. So you can go to people that say who've been together for years, you know, people who've been together for like 50 years. So this could be like your parents, as long as they are in a happy relationship, because some people stay together and they just stay together out of familiarity. Um, so basically the things that you want to be looking for when you are seeking advice uh, from couples are people that who have been together a long time and are also really happy and in love and they're still in love with each other. And they're not just, you know, friends, okay? So one of the ways you can tell is if they've, if they've been together for a long time that they're still happy and they still have a romantic relationship and not just turned into friends basically. Um, you'll often see, it doesn't matter if they're uh, gay couples, lesbian couples, um, or straight couples, it doesn't matter, okay? You'll be able to tell that one is more feminine and one is more masculine and they haven't merged into the same kind of person. Because what tends to happen when uh, couples turn more into friends over the years, um, they tend to start looking more like each other. So, you know, the, the feminine one starts wearing more masculine clothing, um, and basically they just kind of look the same, okay? So basically you want to be looking for couples that where one is very feminine and one is very masculine in the way that they dress, in their mannerisms. Ask those couples because they understand obviously something about polarity. Because in relationships, the ones that last the longest, um, they always maintain that masculine and feminine polarity. So seek out those couples and just ask them what have they done to stay together for so long? Um, how often do they go on dates? You know, what do they do together? You know, ask those kinds of things and then that will give you some kind of clue. And if you ask, let's say like 10 couples, how they've had this amazing relationship and how they've managed to make it last for so long, is what you'll find is there'll probably be some common things that they talk about. Now these common things could be good communication, the fact that they still date each other, this, the fact that they're still interested in each other, they still find each other fascinating. So it could be like a bunch of different things and basically you want to pay attention to those common things because obviously those are the concrete things that are really helping them stay together long term. So another place that you can go to for good dating advice is obviously through books through online articles, that sort of thing. Um, but the thing is with dating books and articles is you need to apply them. So there needs to be some practical things in there. And it does take a long while, which is why it's probably best to actually seek out advice from people that are getting the same results as you because they will be able to tell you quickly the things that work. Whereas some dating books and some dating articles might not be 100% accurate and it's just based on theory rather than practical results. And if you go to the source themselves, you know, so people that know this stuff and have the kinds of things and have the kinds of relationships and dating life that you want, kind of cuts out the process. It's much more quicker to get results from people who you can role model um, because they've already done it. They've already tested the theories. They've already, Well, they might not have tested the theories that in dating books, but they've already been out there and got the experience 
that you might be lacking. So the last place you go for dating advice is obviously dating coaches like me. Still, you know, even though this is my job, I'm telling you now that the best method is to go to people that you personally know that are getting the results that you want. Because one of the best things about like couples and getting advice from happy couples or getting advice from your friends that are really good at dating and always have successful dates um, is that you can see it happening as well. You can tell the way that they hold their body, you can see what kind of clothes they wear, see how they interact with the opposite sex or the same sex, depending on you know what way they are inclined. Um, you can you can be able to see it. You can see it and you can get the advice from the horse's mouth basically. So those are the kinds of people you should go to and the kind of things you should go to for dating advice if you want to get fast results. So basically, um, the underlying message of this video is to go to people that have the results that you want and don't go to people who are not getting the results that you want. That's fundamentally it. Anyway, if you would like help with me personally, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com shop to get coaching with me. If you'd like me to discuss something in a future video, then please leave it in the comments. Please like, please subscribe, and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye, guys.